So this question comes from Joke A. Um, I'm a bit worried uh, about what good study materials to use for my MCSA. I'm currently preparing for, for my MCSA, and I would love you to help uh, recommend some good ebooks. So that's one of those questions that comes up a lot is if you are going to be self-studying for the Microsoft or any of these other exams, what books do you go out there and use? And this is a bit of a difficult question because I do want to remind you guys that when you go, whenever you go out to do certifications, you in fact have to study for two entirely different reasons. The first reason uh, you have to study whenever you're going to go take a certification test is to actually learn the material. So learn what a group policy object is, learn what Active Directory is, learn what replication is, so on and so forth. So you have to learn the material. The second thing that you have to do that people don't talk about enough when you go to take these tests is you have to learn how to pass the test. So there is a difference between knowing the material, there's a difference between being a, an expert in an area and actually being able to, to pass a test. And the reason is, is because when you go in to take the test, they are going to test you about everything. Not only are they going to test you about everything, but they're also going to throw in things like trick questions that you don't have to deal with in the real world. So what you have to understand is when you go into the real world to be a Microsoft engineer, you're going to go into an environment and that environment is going to be set up or you're going to build it and it will be set up and built in a specific way. So basically what you have to know is you know you have to know how to maintain your, your network or your servers within that particular environment, right? Uh, so for somebody like me, I spent a lot of time, you know, with the different Microsoft tests, learning things like trusts. So, you know, domain trust relationships. I can say I have never actually dealt with domain trust relationships um, in my career simply because it didn't come up. I mean, the people that deal with domain trust relationships are senior, senior, senior level administrators at massive companies, corporations, um, and it was just never within never within my purview. Even if trust relationships were set up, it was kind of one of those things. It was set up and when I logged in, they did their little, you know, the trust relationship did its thing. But again, it didn't really have anything to do with me. I didn't have to know how it was set up or how it was configured or any of those types of things. And so that's one of the big things. Like, I always think about that, like, with how much time and energy I've spent learning trust relationships and never comes up. So whenever you're going to be taking these tests, the problem is, is you have to learn the material and then you have to learn how to take the test. So... Whenever I'm trying to learn the material, personally what I like is I like Microsoft's books. So I have used Microsoft's books all the way back from NT 4.0 days, and I think Microsoft's books do a very good job for teaching the material. So they always have exam reference. Um, back in NT 4.0 days, the, the books were white. Uh, for, 2000, or for Windows 7 uh, 2008, uh, books were blue, and now the books are green. So basically you can go to uh, Amazon.com, uh, type in the exam you want to take and look basically for the green book and look for the most recent green book one of the problems you run into with a lot of these tests is you want to make sure that you don't buy fourth edition when the most current edition is fifth edition that is a big problem that comes up you're like hey look this one book is ten dollars and this other book is forty dollars they look the same what could possibly be different well one was written in 2006 the other was written in you know 2013 there's a big massive difference um so i I like Microsoft books for actually, in fact, learning the material. Um, I have been told by people that go to actually take these exams that these may not be the best books for the exams. Again, as I said, uh, there's learning material and then actually taking the exam. What I would argue is if you are going to go and you, you're going to actually be taking the exam, you should go and at the very least, beyond these books, go and sign up for MeasureUp.com. So MeasureUp.com, these guys give you practice tests. And so you can go down here to Microsoft Technical, you can go down to MCSA, you can click on this, and it gives you the different tests uh, that they would do practice tests for. So the idea here, I think it's like if you take the practice test two times in a row and get at least 90%, you should be able to pass the test. So this is probably the one of the best ways to know whether or not you can truly pass the test. So I would say take a look at the Microsoft books and then take a look at signing up for Measure Up. Um, I don't know how much of these things cost they cost they cost a couple bucks um, so 30 days online is about $80 again when you think that the tests themselves are gonna cost you a hundred dollars or more um, 
doing a practice test beforehand is probably worth the time. So I would say, uh, you know, read the book and then go to measure up to make sure you're up to snuff. Now, if you're looking for something entirely online, you're looking for a little more educational material, you may also take a look at CBT Nuggets. So, uh, you know, disclaimer, I used to work for CBT Nuggets, but a lot of people like their training material. Uh, one of the reasons they hired me is because my viewer base and their customer base basically matched. Uh, a lot of people that, that watch me use CBT Nuggets. And so you go in here, and if you sign up for them, they have all these classes for MCSA. So MCSA, Windows 8.1, uh, all of this, this stuff here. And if you go to pay for it, they have a free trial. Um, I forget how much it costs. Again, this is going to cost you a little bit of money, but I think it's like $100 a month or something. Um, but you get it all online. Yeah, I don't know where the pricing is here. Uh, but I would say take a look at this. And they've got the free, the, the seven day free trial. So if nothing else, you know, play around with it and go from there. Um, so those would be my thoughts. Again, like I said, have you, I've read these books for years. I like these books for learning material. Um, again, I haven't done my MCSE since NT 4.0 days. So I've told, been told these aren't the best for, for taking the test. So if you want to make sure that you actually know the material, go and sign up for that measure up and take those practice tests and keep taking the practice tests until you're absolutely perfect. If you're looking for something completely online, uh, like I say, go for CBT Nuggets. Now I know if you're saying I want something online, what you may be kind of sort of asking but not really asking for is free. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> um, I don't know of any free resources uh, to get your MCSE or MCSA or any of those types of things. Uh, with programming, like if you want to go out and learn programming, there is a crap ton of free resources out there. Um, if you want to learn networking or, or systems administration, there's a crap ton of free re uh, resources out there. If you actually want to be certified, certified, um, everything that I know is going to cost you a few bucks. Realistically, if I was self-studying, studying for tests, I would probably budget minimum, minimum, like being conservative here, I'd probably budget about $200 somewhere between $150 to $200 per test uh, to purchase prep material um, and then go from there. So if you're looking for your MCSA, you're looking at somewhere between, somewhere probably between $500 to $1,000 uh, that you're, you're still going to, even if you're training yourself, that you're still going to outlay for those tests. So those things to think about. But definitely do take a look at CBT Nuggets because, again, I know a lot of my viewers really like CBT Nuggets. Um, so it seems to be good. They've got a free trial going on. Uh, but the one thing is, is truly the practice test. Don't, a lot of people try to skip the practice test. They're like, Eli, why should I spend $80 on a practice test? <laughs> it's like, because the real test costs money. Um, and it's what really one of those things where, you know, there's, there's trick questions in the exam. There, there, there's weird wording for questions in the exam. Not only that, but there's simply, there's simply a way that you take tests. Like when I did my MCSE, uh, part of it was I knew the material and part of it was I knew how to take the test. Like, uh, like one of the lessons, uh, that my, my instructors told us was when you're sitting there and looking at a question, if you don't know the answer, then the best thing to do is write down A, B, C, and D for, for the different options and then figure out what the incorrect answers are. That's actually a really good troubleshooting skill. That's actually something you use in the real world, but it's good for test taking. So if you're looking at, you know, if you're looking at four answers, uh, and you and you don't know the answer to the question. Well, you can look at it and you can go, okay. Well, I know D isn't correct, and I know B isn't correct, and so now I've only got A and C to deal with. Even if I'm not sure whether it's A or C, I've now gone from a one in four chance of guessing to a one in two chance of guessing, right? And a lot of times, what happens is with those multiple choice questions, you can go, okay, I know D is not right. I'm pretty darn sure C isn't right. A, oh, A is an ugly answer. But if I look at B, B is an uglier answer than A. So A must be the right answer because these other three are wrong, right? And again, like I say, this is what we really do in the real world technology anyway. So it's not quite the cheat you may think it is. Um, but that's what, what going through all those little practice tests and stuff will give you. So, uh, so, so buy practice tests, whatever you do, buy practice tests. I would argue MeasureUp. MeasureUp's a good company. Um, and then 
look at CBT nuggets and such. But yeah, you won't, I, 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 I have a feeling that you're saying online, online is code word for free. And I don't, I really don't like, if you want to learn the material, learn the material, there's a lot of free resources. Uh, if you actually, if to actually learn it well enough to pass a test, I don't, I don't know any free resources out there.